This is a dual dash cam here. It's going to do a quick overview of it. So obviously, um, <clears throat> it's plugged into the USB. It should automatically start every time the unit uh, like kicks up. You should see a block, like a flashing blue light on the like, side here. It is good just to check it even uh, like now and again, just to make sure it is working. Um, it's just like anything that's always running in the background. It's good to have a little look. But if you go into your apps, HDF Recorder is the actual app. You can see, I can see like a camera here. So you can see a uh, red, a uh, flashing uh, light tells us it's recording, a uh, microphone's off, and there's uh, like an SD card in the unit. <clears throat> We got the date, the time, uh, which is like pulling from the unit, and the speed, which will pull from our unit to the GPS. Obviously, this is like sitting here, so it's I'm oh, not putting any speed. I tap on the screen, you get a, a couple options. Um, you can view the front or rear camera. Uh, then we'll start from here. Okay, so it's I like saying it is recording on video. Now, if you just wanted to like take a quick picture, you could uh, quick take picture, and it's like taking a picture. Uh, that could be handy if you like see something or whatever, and you just want to get a quick like picture of it. Uh, if you push that recording button there, it's going to record up the uh, microphone. That's going to take us into the menu. Playback's going to come uh, into our old uh, footage. Um, so you can see it all in here. Front camera, rear camera. So um, obviously if you uh, like click on it, it's going to show the uh, footage here. And you can choose to uh, like, so like lock it and put it in the locked uh, file. So it's in there right like now. Um, those are all the images, like we just took that snapshot before. Now, if there's a big like bang or crash on this, it should put the uh, lock footage into the uh, locked area um, because obviously it records one minute and then as the space uh, like runs up, it overwrites the SD card. <clears throat> you should have enough on there, I think for 64 gigs it was maybe 48 hours, oh, I can't remember how much of the footage, but you should all, like, if you had a crash or something like happen, you should, you'd still have the footage on there anyway, um, even if the lock, like, didn't happen, because it wouldn't be like you have a crash and then you, you know, to check the footage, like, three weeks later. Um, uh, exit works at the app, and then in here you get some, like, menu options, uh, AR, don't really worry about that, you can never play around with it, but it doesn't work that well. Um, the brightness, you can adjust the uh, brightness of the cameras, you can see that it's uh, blown it out a little bit. Um, oh, it's like settings, so that's just uh, what it is. I uh, like 1080p, uh, so full HD. You can uh, sort of flip the cameras, so that's like the horizontal, um, or the mirror them. Sorry, I uh, like flip is the vertical, uh, the horizontal is left to right, flips up to down. So you can do that. Um, you can change uh, how long you want the uh, video uh, duration to be, so it records a minute at the moment and then it records the next minute. Uh, like a minute is like normally pretty good. Um, you can turn it so it's recording a voice at all times. You can uh, format the SD card, obviously uh, like units, kilometers, like miles. Um, and there's some other stuff in here which is not really important. But that sort of uh, basically uh, like goes through like, uh, like everything there is in the app there.